day everybody welcome to the trucker john show thanks for tuning in here to Vermont and uh, we're just getting our day started here headed into Waterbury got a little bit of that white stuff coming down this morning I guess it's supposed to kind of do this all day and into the night tonight I don't think it's anything major probably just enough to be a pain in the butt later on the roads but we'll see so we got a regular week this week five deliveries it looks like so we'll make our last delivery Saturday and then we'll be headed home and then next week which would be the week uh, starting Monday the 14th so I should probably be delivering Tuesday Wednesday Thursday and Friday is what I'm thinking and then the plant is going to be shut down I think they're going to be closed the 19th through the 27th. Uh, well, they do maintenance and then, of course, the Christmas holiday. So, I think I'm going to be off all that week. I'm trying to work it out where I can get my truck into the shop out in Ohio. But my mechanic, he's awful busy, so we're going to see what happens here. Still got my bumpers out there that's all done been painted and sitting there waiting for the truck got new batteries which I kind of need I think I got a bad battery in here one that's kind of getting weak or maybe more than one because the voltage seems to drop off real quick so I got my batteries in there's a few other things uh, we ordered a fifth wheel for the truck and it still hasn't come in so hoping Hoping that'll come in within the next week. It's, they said three to five weeks, and I think we're sitting right at about uh, three and a half weeks right now. So I mean, I could probably go without the fifth wheel until the next time I get serviced. It's just this fifth wheel here is getting a little bit sloppy. And there's no more adjustment in it, so it's time to replace it. I'm assuming it's the original fifth wheel. Uh, we got 683,000 miles on it, so... I'd rather get it replaced before I have a problem with it. And also, the truck needs to be serviced, so... Hopefully, you can get out there and get... Uh, get that done if, if the uh, last load I deliver is on Friday the 18th then I'll probably head back home overnight and see when he can get my truck in and probably take the whole truck out there with the trailer to Ohio and uh, get my work done and see if I can get a load back east here if not I'll just come on home I'm going to bring the trailer with me because I am looking into ordering the uh, animal guard, deer guard, whatever you want to call it. And uh, looks like I'm going to get it, so if they can get it in in time. I'm going to stop by the dealer where I'm going to buy it there near my house and I'll just put it in the back of the trailer on the way out to Ohio. No, we're played by ear because uh, he is kind of busy. 
We just took on a bunch of work with the tow truck, uh, tow truck company. Keeps it, keeping them pretty busy right now. And uh, he's got an overhaul to do on a freight liner with a uh, Detroit in it. So he's gonna be doing an overhaul as well. And uh, in frame, in other words. And uh, we'll see what happens. <laughs> be very convenient for me since I'm, the plant is closed so I don't have to worry about covering these loads so it'd be real convenient for me to go out there that week I suppose I could go right out there and leave the truck and rent a car and come home and then go back out after he gets it all done through the Chris, uh, right through the Christmas weekend and all that, but uh, trying to cut down on that expense. Yeah, so the roads ain't too bad here. Temperature is about 30, so little bit of uh, salt or whatever they put down is doing its job here I know they got winter weather advisory in effect until I think tomorrow morning but I don't think it's supposed to be anything real significant the only place that might get a lot of snow I think is over there south of Watertown across the uh, Tug Hill Plateau coming off the end of Lake Ontario get over here to Waterbury and uh, do our drop and hook and we'll take a look at the weather maps and stuff we, we can uh, we can head down towards the uh, this what I call the southern route on the way back to Fulton we can head down towards uh, Albany that way and go across the thruway We'll see. We'll make a we'll make a choice here after we get dropped and hooked here at Waterbury and uh, decide which way we're going at that point. All right, guys. So I made it back down here to Fulton. A uh, little bit of snow on the way down pretty much snowed the whole way but the roads were just kind of wet and uh, just pretty much raining down here and uh, still above freezing it's like 36 last time I looked at the thermometer but uh, we got in here we did our drop and hook and I'm on my 30 minute break right now I'm gonna have my dinner all right so we put some rice and chicken into the hot logic earlier and uh, well there you go voila looks good I stopped at the rest area by Watertown and threw a little bit of cheddar cheese right on top of it. I think that's probably going to be pretty good. Yeah, so I just found out a little while ago that uh, Saturday's load is canceled. So I got to deliver uh, tomorrow, which is Thursday, and Friday. Then I'm going home. So I will have a, well, I guess a three-day weekend. Not really. I get home Friday night, be off Saturday, Sunday, go back to work Monday afternoon. I guess it's kind of like a three-day weekend. I got stuff I can do at home. Need to get uh, some Christmas cards and stuff out. So it'll work out all right. Yeah, so we're just finishing up our dinner. And uh, going to get rolling here in a minute. Still rainy and drizzly here. Hopefully it doesn't turn to all snow by later on the way back up north. Uh, definitely like to try to make it to Plattsburgh. Uh, and go for a walk by the lake tomorrow morning. So we'll see. I think we'll be all right. Temperatures are not really supposed to drop that much, so we should be in good shape.
Okay, well, I made it in here to Plattsburgh, and uh, I'm going to get going to bed here pretty quickly. I'm going to try to get up about two hours before my 10-hour break is up and go for a walk. I think uh, most of the snow is over with for now. I wish it wasn't really that bad anyway. But uh, I don't have any, uh, like, boots with me. I got rubber boots to wear, like, outside the truck when I'm working in the yard or something like that. But uh, I don't have any, like, regular, uh, I don't know what you call them, brogans? <laughs> or some kind of a hiking-type boot. So I just have my sneakers on me. I got to get something in the truck. So if it's still slushy and really wet, I might not go for a walk in the morning and... We'll see. We'll have to see. We'll uh, set the alarm for 8 o'clock and uh, see what it looks like outside. Anyway, I'm going to get me a little bit of dessert. I got some uh, sugar-free jello, strawberry jello. I'm going to have one of those and uh, probably watch a little bit of the boob tube and uh, hit the rack. Anyway, uh, we're going to end the video here. Appreciate you guys watching. Don't forget to uh, like, subscribe, and comment. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Everybody take care. Be well. Bye for now.